miles off the coast of, well, Jacksonville is just behind us. We passed the St. John's River. Uh, we decided not to go to Jacksonville because the nearest marina that had any availability was about 25 miles inland at the city. Uh, and that was just too much of a detour. So we're going right past and we're heading up to uh, St. Mary's River. And uh, we're gonna go to Fernandina Beach. Uh, there's a marina there that could normally take us, but it was hit really bad by a hurricane last year and they lost half their docks. However, they do have a mooring field. So we're gonna moor up to a mooring ball. It's the first time we've ever done it and it um, should be fun. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I had a way to get up and what we did is we took the pulled the hoop up and put another line through it and then pulled the other line out so we're not gonna be twisted around in circles right and good morning everyone it's the start of a new day Well, what are you thinking? Just try to see if there's anything like outside of Havana closer to the entrance instead of going all 15 miles down. Like even in Anchorage, mooring field. So I can't believe there's nothing like that.
right outside of this inlet, it's like a shrimping haven, I guess, but it's making it an obstacle course for me because there are shrimping boats all over the place and they're all moving in different directions. Looks like there's my opening right there. I got one going towards the shore and one going out to sea and I should be able to split the difference. The problem is these guys have really long nets behind them and you always got to be careful to not accidentally get too close to them. So you want to tell me about this? So I um, was checking on the generator just as routine systems check and I found some fuel underneath of it in a kind of a tray area. And not a whole lot, but you know, a good pint of it at least. And um, I thought it might have been just something left over from maintenance that they were doing before, so I cleaned it up. Next time I checked, there was again about another pint, so I looked more carefully and underneath the engine where the fuel line came in, I found a broken hose clamp. So it was just dripping out a little bit over time as we were using it, and uh, fortunately we had one uh, in our spare parts kit, so I put that on, and I'll check on it later on or tomorrow and make sure the leaks stop for good, but right now we seem to be in good shape. It's interesting though, we had a little difficulty starting the generator. Yeah, so I it, would, if yeah that... it could have been, I don't know, it, it, not, it usually starts right up just like that. It's been kind of hesitating and you know, it takes two tries, three tries to start it. And I'm wondering if maybe it was sucking in some air into the uh, fuel line and not getting everything that it needed. So we'll see next time I start it if, uh, if it starts out better. And we'll let you know. Yep. So we're coming in on St. Simon Island right now. This is the inlet. It's a very long, very well marked inlet. It just seems to take forever to get in. Forever. <laughs> I think it must be like six miles long. It's, it's taken forever. What we're doing is we're going in and then hanging an immediate uh, turn to north and we're going to Morningstar Marina which should just be about a mile or maybe not even up uh, north once we get through the inlet and we plan to spend the night there and then move on up to hopefully Savannah tomorrow. A real early start. Yeah, a real early start. It's going to be something like a 10 hour run for us which is uh, long. We really don't like to go that long but we'll see how it works out. Simon uh, Inlet is what we came into. We're at Morningstar Marina. And um, we just left a, a restaurant with food. It was fantastic. We ordered uh, a, a whole bunch of different odd things that we've never had before. Because maybe we were from the north. <laughs> yeah, we're not used to the food, but boy, the food was good. And anyway, um, we're walking around. There's some shops around the marina here. They're, they seem to be all closed. I guess it's about 6 o'clock on a Wednesday. So. Stopped over here on our way to Savannah. It's going to be a long haul. We've got about maybe nine, maybe even ten hours ahead of us on the water. Hopefully, we'll be out by six, and we're just going to start heading north. And most, have lunch. yeah, that's lunch for tomorrow. That's yeah. right, because there's not much here for provisions. Uh, yeah, yeah you're not going to... This marina is super secluded. I mean, we can take it over to the town or something, but we're just here, just a quick stop to get something to eat, uh, freshen up and get ready for tomorrow. 
Right, they suffered a hurricane that came through, so there was a, a how much damage did they say that was? Like $3 million. $3 million worth of damage, which you can see, it's pretty bad. So, um, I'm sure it's more hopping than that because even the marine store that usually carries water didn't have any water in it. So, it's cute. I mean, if you need an investment company, there is a hairdresser here. So, it's kind of unusual stuff. Uh, and there are nautical shops. And, and that's about it. And cats. We are out at sunrise, right? Yep, sunrise. Our long, long drive today. It'll take about nine hours to get where we're going. We have about a 70 mile trip. But it's about an hour just to get out of this inlet, so it's going to take us a while. We just spent the night at Morningstar Marina in St. Simons. Um, we didn't leave the area, we just stayed at the marina. We knew we wanted to get an early start, so we just um, had dinner at the marina's restaurant and went to bed early. Yeah, so we don't know much about the town or anything like that. It was just a stopover. We're heading up to Savannah where we're hopefully going to meet my brother, I mean my brother, and my son, Chase. Um, he's going to meet us, not tomorrow, or today, but tomorrow up in Savannah. Yep, this place didn't have much for provisions, even in their marina shop. They were out of jugs of water and, you know, unless you want ice cream. <laughs> yep. That's about it. So we ordered extra. And candy. We ordered extra for dinner and took it home. So we have something for lunch today. Yeah, yeah, because we have been unable to find a decent place for provisions. All right. Well, we'll, we'll catch up with you later. so far. It's not that it was hard, it's just that there's there's a lot of shoals, small ones, like you can walk across this over here. Yeah. And there's markings, but they're small, uh, low, and they're, you don't really see the next one until you're passing the one you're looking at. Uh, so it makes it a little bit difficult, but we you have two charts running Yeah. to get two opinions about what you <laughs> might need to do. And, uh, and it worked out well. You know, they, they, they weren't exactly accurate, and when they're not accurate, we go with the local markings because things move, shawls move. Uh, since maps get made, um, not every day, uh, we just follow the markings, and that's what we did. And this gave us a rough proximity to where they would be, and then we uh, followed them. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Yeah, so far good. We're just pulling up, uh, we're going to be heading up the Wilmington River, and we're going to head up there uh, for about six miles, I believe, maybe a little further, until we get to another Morningstar Marina in a town called Thunderbolt. And legend has it that Thunderbolt is named that because when the Indians lived there, a bolt of lightning struck the ground, uh, exposing a underground spring. So they named it Thunderbolt. Hmm, interesting. Well, we'll be up there in a bit. Well, I'm sure we'll see the river too. Or is it a creek? No, this is the river. Okay. Wilmington River. Okay, we'll see that.
Uh, that's him talking to you. Are you heading offshore or are you going to uh, ditch? I'm going to head offshore just to give this thing a run up the hill, man. Oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, we're heading offshore. Yeah. Go ahead, Cap. Uh, don't worry about the way. Thank you, sir. Well? Well, we're on the Savannah River. Uh, we left uh, Morningstar in uh, Thunderbolt. It was easy to get out. We are right on the river. The current wasn't too strong. It was heading our direction. So um, had one bridge to get through. They opened it up right away for us. Other than the flies that are following horse us. Flies. Horse flies. Horse flies. It's been uh, pretty easy. We're only a couple of miles out from downtown Savannah. It's going to be up and around the bend over there someplace. And uh, we should probably be there in a half hour or so. Um, and um, hopefully it's going to be right around slack tide and hopefully they're ready for us. They told us to come in around 1. We're going to get there around noon. Um, and I'm planning that because of slack tide. 1 o'clock it's going to be maybe a, a knot and a half current. And I have the park parallel right along the riverfront, so I prefer to do that without a, ton, uh, without a current if I can. But I'll do what I have to do. 